The black and white adjustment in Photoshop easily wins my vote for the best method for converting a color image into a black and white version because it combines ease of use with incredible flexibility. I recommend using the black and white adjustment as an adjustment layer, so on the adjustments panel you can click this button to add a black and white adjustment layer or at the bottom of the layers panel you can choose the add adjustment layer button and then choose black and white from the pop-up list. I'll go ahead and click the button on the adjustments panel to add a black and white adjustment layer. The black and white adjustment layer allows you to brighten or darken specific ranges of colors. As you can see here we have sliders for reds, yellows, greens, cyans, blues, and magentas. You could certainly work with these sliders individually, lightening or darkening specific color ranges within the image, but I think it's much easier to work directly on the image when using the black and white adjustment. So on the adjustments panel, we'll click this button with the hand and the double arrow to turn on the direct adjustment capability. In Photoshop CS3, you can think of this setting as always being turned on. You don't have to actually click a button to enable it. Then we'll move the mouse out into the image and point to the objects that we want to brighten or darken. When we do so, Photoshop will identify the color value underneath our mouse and will therefore choose the appropriate slider on the adjustments panel. We can then simply drag the mouse left or right to darken or lighten the image respectively. So for example, the tablecloth here had a red checkerboard pattern. So if I point my mouse to a dark area of the tablecloth and click and hold, you'll see that the reds value on the adjustments panel gets highlighted. I can then drag to the left to darken all of the reds in the image and drag to the right to brighten the reds in the image. This bottle over here was green and so if I click and drag to the left all the greens will be darkened and if I drag to the right all the greens will be brightened. We can therefore use this tool to directly work on the image brightening and darkening specific areas as we see fit. Each time we click and drag the appropriate color slider will be activated. This provides a very simple and effective way to exercise incredible control as we create a black and white interpretation of our image. To take things a step further, you can also apply a color tint to the image. Simply turn on the tint checkbox to apply a color tint to the image. You can then click the color swatch to bring up the color picker and then choose any color you would like to use for the tint to be applied to the image. When you find the color you like, simply click OK to close the color picker dialog box and you're all done. Besides working directly on the image, of course, you can continue to fine-tune using the individual sliders. In fact, it's not a bad idea to experiment around working with the individual sliders to see which areas of the image they'll affect. Without experimenting with each individual slider, you might not actually affect that specific color range because you might not have clicked on an area of the image represented by that range of color values. And because we used an adjustment layer to create our black and white conversion, we can return to that adjustment at any time if we want to further refine our results.